When I was broke, I couldn't pull a hose. I wasn't stacking dough, I was a lame on the low. What up, y'all? This is Trip. You back with Tripping with Trip, man. Today I'm doing something different, man. So, right now, I'm gonna go to my appointment to see if I can return to duty today after I've had, uh, after I've been out with COVID. So. That's what I'm finna go do, man. Finna go get checked out. Make sure I got everything I need for the day. It's a nice, beautiful day out here in Panama City, Florida. And yeah, it is what it is, man. Everything is cool, man. I feel better, feeling great. I uh, just wanted to do something different today for my vlog, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I give y'all the same angles time and time again. Same thing, same place. So I feel like it was just time for something new. So that's what we on, that's what we doing, man. I'm gonna uh, take y'all on the ride with me on the way to the thing, on the way to the hospital. And then we gonna see how it goes, man. Y'all stay tuned. So we back, man. I got the mount all hooked up for the GoPro. Yeah, so today, man, I'm just doing something totally different. Um, instead of recording with my normal Canon EOS RP camera, I am recording with my GoPro 7, the silver and it's different it records in 4k uh it's a camera i can take everywhere throw it on a couple different mounts i i like it man it's easy when i'm out here on the go um, i definitely use the other camera the bigger camera when you know what i'm saying i'm trying to sit somewhere and record but rocking with the gopro today just to see how it's going to come out today man it's day nine of video every day in august challenge I'm going strong with that, going hard with that. And today, like I told y'all, I was going to the doctor. Um, that COVID and pneumonia was definitely something different. I've never felt like that ever in life, man. That was that was wild for me. <laughs> that was wild for me. Um, it was definitely, I've never experienced anything like that. Like I've had concussions, I've had the flu. <clears throat> all kind of wild stuff but i've never been hit and been down been down like that before like three weeks i was out of work for three weeks and each week i was dealing with something different and it seemed like it was getting worse before it was getting better but now you know finally getting better everything's cool still got some chest complications but you know that's gonna come with the territory, I guess. Just gotta drink water and deep breathe and get my lungs back to feeling normal. What it feels like. I do, I am anxious to get back in the gym though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anxious to get back in the gym, man. And see how that goes. But all in all, man, everything's cool. Everything's kosher. Man, the YouTube channel, I appreciate the love and the support that y'all are giving me. You know what I'm saying? I rock with y'all for that, for real, for real. Like, I just, I've only been doing, this is probably like my fourth week doing YouTube, like consecutively dropping content and videos. And I'm already at like 86 subscribers. And like, that, to me, that's everything. Vlogging has been an outlet for me. It's been a release for me, I can say. Like, being able to sit down, write my thoughts out, or write an outline of my thoughts about what I want to talk about, and just going, hitting recording, and just spilling it. That's been, you know, it's it's, it's kind of risky for me and it's kind of, uh, I'm weary about it sometimes, but it's an outlet. Cause I record it, say what I feel like I said what I needed to say and convey what I was trying to convey. And I sit back and watch it, edit it and then be like, yeah, okay, I'm cool with that. Or nah, I don't really like that. I'll cut that out kind of deal. Going through that whole process day in and day out is definitely, uh, it's it's soothing to me because I'm seeing myself on camera say certain things or look a certain way. Like I'm probably the worst critic ever. Like if you see me like record this stuff, write it, record it, and then edit it, like I sit in front of that computer, like mm, nah, I don't like that. Mm, nah, and I have to tell myself it's okay, bro. Like I'm just starting out. I can't expect everything to be perfect. 
can't expect everything to be perfect. But I hope y'all like this. <clears throat> I'm really feeling it. Uh, I was really just trying it honestly, just because if I do get returned to duty tomorrow, it's gonna be hard trying to uh, create content, be at work, and then come home and do what I gotta do at the house, and then somehow, you know, have enough time to edit it and release it and do whatever I need to do on the YouTube side of things. So I'm trying to see if I wake up early enough in the morning, which is gonna be challenging, a challenge in itself, because I'm like, I hit the snooze button. 10, 15 times before I even get up. So just trying that out in the morning, seeing how it goes, coming home, releasing it, or doing whatever, hitting the points that I wanna hit in the vlog for that day. It's gonna be different, it's gonna be challenging, but hey, we gonna get through it. So I'll let y'all know how the doctor's appointment went, man. Y'all stay up, y'all stay safe. I'll get it with y'all later. What up, y'all? I'm back, it's a trip left flight med man and it ain't going too well but i will say so i did not get returned to duty today uh, there's still some complications going on with my lungs from the pneumonia so um yeah i gotta go back to the house for three days give my lungs some time to rest up and then go try it at the end of the week as far as trying to work and stuff and do my job but that's pretty much it that sucks because i was expecting to go back to work because uh, i'm tired of being at the house honestly but be like that sometimes man so i'm gonna take it slow and see what we got, man. Take it slow for these next three days and go back to work and try to hit it, try to get back into a rhythm. But that's how that went, man. So now I'm finna go back to the crib. Actually, I'm finna run some errands. So I'll get up with y'all later, man. I'm gonna have a gym for y'all later. I don't know what it's gonna be about. So stay tuned, man, we out. Welcome back, y'all. So I'm back at the crib, man. <sighs> Where do I start? Boy, 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 I'm gonna drop a gym for y'all right now. <clears throat> so right now, you know what I'm saying? I dropped a video on TikTok, and yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all the video right now. This is the video. What's the unpopular opinion that you have about parenting that you know is gonna make a lot of parents mad? For starters, don't expect for me to want to co-parent with you after I've already been paying you child support, yet and still you still went inside this courtroom and hit me in the head with the max like I wasn't trying to cooperate and negotiate with you. So don't expect any cooperation from me from that point on. Two, don't expect for me to want to co-parent with you after I had to fight you tooth and nail for every weekend and every break that I got because you felt that your time with them was more important than me. So yeah, y'all saw the video, right? The comments while getting notifications left and right. My phone's been blinging. Oh, my phone been ringing off the hook all day with notifications from this video. <coughs> and one of the comments that I guess piqued my interest was uh it was a few comments so there was a uh, some people on there saying be the bigger person for the kids put your ego aside it's not a, it's about the kids it's not about y'all you're only hurting the kids not the other parent and while some of that is true i disagree like i have to disagree being a bigger person that if that entails you know what i'm saying leaving a space where somebody is Continuously showing you that you don't care that, that they don't care. You're not regarded. You don't matter And you're not respected Like if bigger being a bigger person entails leaving the space where that is happening and I'm all for it but On the flip side of the coin if being a bigger person means laying down Taking it compromising with somebody that won't compromise with you meeting somebody's needs and wants That's not trying to meet yours at all and a person that doesn't have your best interest even in the nearest of thoughts, if being a bigger person entails doing that and laying down and taking that, then nah, I'm gonna disagree. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Like that ain't. That's not what I'm about. That's not what I want to teach my kids, especially my daughter. Like, not even especially my daughter, but neither one of my kids. Not to make it gender specific, but I don't want to teach none of my kids that because nobody should have to go through that. Like, what do you look like? trying to facilitate with somebody, trying to cooperate and trying to co-op with somebody that's continuously spitting in your face and kicking you in the nuts. Like, that's dumb. Like, why would I keep going? Like, if I know every time I walk up, she's gonna spit in my face and punch me in the nuts, why would I keep walking up to get spit in the face and then get punched in the nuts? Why? I, 
can very much so leave that space. I can very much so leave that relationship and leave that person alone and still accomplish what I need to accomplish because at the end of the day, once it's gotten to that point, like court-wise, there's nothing to talk about. Everything is already in the court orders and the parenting plan. So there's nothing to even talk about. Like, so there goes, the co-parenting out the window for me. Like, ain't, like, at this point, like for what? What is it to talk about? All you're gonna do is show me how I'm not regarded, how you have zero respect for anything that I have going on and anything that I'm trying to do. And you could care less about what I got going on. Like why, who, why be around somebody that does that? I can still be there for my kids. I can still take care of the kids and do what I gotta do and be a dad and be in their lives without even consulting you. Because again, the court orders and the parenting plan is already there. So what is there to talk about? This is gonna, gonna outline when I can have them, when you're gonna have them. So what is there to talk about? Unless it's a life or death situation or emergency, and even at that point, you need to handle that the best to your ability, and then give me a call, give me a courtesy call later, and I'm on the way. But I just don't agree with that. And of course, on TikTok, I struck a nerve. Because <laughs> here come the bitter people. Here come the bitter ones. I ain't gonna say, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make it gender specific because I understand that both genders go through this. There is some bitter, some bitter moms and some bitter dads out there. So I'm not gonna sit here and make it gender specific like it's just women. Cause there's some dudes on there that said some pretty jacked up stuff too. And I'm like, what? Bro, come on. Like, don't get me wrong. It's about the kids for sure. But the kids are not gonna raise themselves. The kids, need to see functioning healthy relationships and if i can't facilitate that with their mother or if you can't facilitate that with their other parent it is okay and perfectly fine to stop trying to do that with that person with the other parent and show them how it's supposed to be handled show them why you left show them what it looks like to leave show them what it looks like like even if you've moved on and you're dating and you have a significant other like showing them what that looks like in your household. Like just because you're not co-parenting doesn't mean you're not parenting at all. I think that's the biggest misconception. That means I'm not doing that with you. P clearly we're not on the same page, we're not on the same team. Like imagine, imagine trying to, you know what I'm saying? Imagine trying to play a game with somebody and I'm trying to throw the ball and at the same time you're trying to take the ball from me and run it. Like if we're not on the same game plan, we can't coexist at all. Like. There's no reason, there's no point, it's not gonna work. If you're trying to do something that's beneficial to you and only you, then what am I gonna do with that? How is that gonna benefit me? Because you're doing what you need to do that's gonna make sure that you and the kids are okay, but on the other side of the token, what about me and the kids? So at that point, when you show me that that's what you're on, then I have no choice but to worry about me and the kids over here. Me and the kids during my time over here and how I'm gonna facilitate parenting. So that's the gem I have for y'all, man. That's all I got, man. Take care of yourself, man. Respect yourself. Leave those spaces. Just because you're not co-parenting does not mean you're not parenting at all. That is the gem. You can parent without co-parenting. It happens every day, y'all. I promise. I promise. So with that being said, man, I'm going to cut this video short. I already got some dope content, man. I'm out. This is day nine of uh, video every day in August. So we definitely gonna come with it. <clears throat> I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Y'all follow me on all the social media, um, Instagram, TikTok. <laughs> and let me know what y'all think, man. And don't forget about the raffle. Scraps Club raffle. Man, once we get to 100 subscribers, I'm definitely gonna pick five people to win some Scraps Club merch. Right now, we're at 87 subscribers, man, and I appreciate y'all for pulling up on me and pulling up with the kid and kicking it with me. So, y'all be safe. I'm really going for real this time, y'all. I know I didn't say it by like 10 times, but peace. Hey. When I was broke, I couldn't pull a hose. I wasn't stacking dough, I was a lame on the low. But you went for